everyone. Our lesson today is called congruency. Two polygons are congruent if their corresponding angles are equal in measure and their corresponding sides are equal in length. Now I have two triangles A, B, C and X, Y, Z. I have A, C equal to X, Z. A, B equal to X, Y. C, B equal to Z, Y. So the corresponding sides are equal in length. Now, he asked me, letter A, A, B equal to X, Y. If you say Y, X, it's wrong. We have to start, he started from A, then B, so we start from X, then Y. Letter B, C, A, C, A equal to Z, X. Y, letter C, Y, Z equal to B, C. Letter D, triangle A, B, C, congruent, Z symbol. Mean congruent. Z symbol mean congruent. So we read it as triangle A, B, C, congruent to triangle. He started from A, B, then C. So it's congruent to X, Y, then Z. In the second one, from the opposite figure, complete. If the polygon A, B, C, D, congruent to the polygon N, M, L, K. From this statement, we notice that A congruent to N, B congruent to M, C congruent to L, D congruent to K. So, if he, if he asked me, letter A, N, M, N, M, equal to A, P, K, L, equal to D, C. We have to start from the same order. He start from K, then L. So, we start D, then C. Letter C, A, D, equal to M, K. Letter D, measure of angle C, equal to measure of angle L. Measure of angle N, equal to measure of angle A. Now, I have remark. In special cases, two rectangles are congruent if the two dimensions of one rectangle are equal to the two dimensions of the other. I mean by dimensions, length and width. Number two, two squares are congruent if the side length of one of them equals the, length, the side length of the other. Number three, Two triangles are congruent if their corresponding sides are equal in length. Now he asked me to complete the diagonal of the rectangle divided it into two congruent triangles. P. Two polygons are congruent if their corresponding sides are equal in length and their corresponding angles are equal in measure. C. Any two triangles are congruent if each space is congruent to its corresponding size side in the other triangle. So any two triangles or any two triangles are congruent if each side 
is congruent to its corresponding side in the other triangle. D, two squares are congruent if the side length of, the, of one of them is equal to side length in the other one. Letter E. Two rectangles are congruent if the two dimensions of one of them are equal. To the two dimensions in in the other one. F. If triangle ABC congruent to triangle XYZ, then AC equal XZ. G. If triangle KLM congruent to triangle DEF, then measure of angle L equal to measure of angle E. Now, let's answer. He asked me if the two opposite figures are congruent. He tell me that the two figures are congruent. Then, complete. Letter A, M, N equal to M, N equal to, he started from N, M, then N equal to T, Z. P, N, O equal to Z, Y. O, P equal to Y, X. P, M equal to X, T. Then, Letter E, measure of angle M equal to measure of angle T, measure of angle T. Measure of angle N equal to measure of angle Z. G, letter of measure of angle O equal to measure of angle Y. Measure of angle B equal to measure of angle X. Now, in the opposite figure, if triangle LMN congruent to CBA, he gave me two triangles, LMN and CBA. A. From this statement, we notice that he gave me that NM 6 cm, ML 5 cm, the measure of angle M 100 degree. So he asked me, letter A, measure A congruent. He not say measure of angle M equal to to answer the like previous. So he asked angle M. So I answer angle and say the congruent angle. M congruent to P. Angle A congruent to angle N. Angle C congruent to angle L. In the previous exercise, he asked me, like, example, LM equal to space. But now he asked me, line segment LM congruent to space. So my answer will be, he asked for LM is, is congruent to line segment C P E line segment M N line uh, congruent to line segment P 
A. Line segment L N congruent to line segment C A. Letter G. Measure of angle P equal to space degree. So we want from this figure to know what's the measure of angle P. Angle P is congruent or measure of angle B equal to measure of angle M. Angle M equal 100 degrees. So angle P equal also to 100 degree. So measure of angle B equal 100 degree. PC equal space centimeter. So we look here. PC equal to ML. Where is ML? Here. 5 centimeter. So PC equal also to 5 centimeter. Finally, we have in the opposite figure if triangle ABC congruent to triangle LMN complete. I have two triangles. In the first triangle ABC, I have the measure of angle B 50 degree, C 70 degree. Measure of angle A we can say 180 minus 180 degree minus 50 degree plus 70 degree equal 60 degree. So the measure of angle A equals 60 degree. Then we answer. Letter A, measure of angle M. I, ha I don't have the measure of angle M, but I have the congruent angle of angle M. Angle M congruent to angle B. Where is angle B? Here, 50 degree. So we write 50 degree. Letter B, measure of angle N. N, we have N? No, but we know that angle N congruent to angle C. Angle C, 70 degree. So angle N, 70 degree. Letter C, measure of angle L. We don't have measure of angle L, so but we what we know that angle L congruent to angle A, angle A 60 degree. So measure of angle L 60 degree.